All right, folks, we are back, and today's video is all about shooting. By the end of today's video, you should be able to do one thing, construct a 500 make per day shooting workout. I took that number from a guy named JJ Reddick. You don't know who JJ Reddick is, I've completely missed my target audience. We're gonna start inside out with our shooting workout. I want you to start anywhere between 10 and 15 feet, but we're gonna start with floaters. And I want you to go into a one to two dribble combo. I might do that into my floater over the top of the net. Just like that, set the gun for 10 makes at five spots. All right, now make sure you're writing this stuff down as we go through this video. Otherwise it becomes, uh, TikTok scrolly time until your mom comes and picks you up from the gym. Now I get it, you're not gonna get a ton of 15 foot catch and shoot shots in the game. Make sure you're focusing on things in particular when you're taking these shots. For me, I want mine to be fluid, one motion. So when I'm at 15 feet, that's the only thing that I'm focused on is making sure that it's all one motion. Shout out to Otter Basketball once again, that's his concept. And if you wanna make the last 25 shots from 15 feet, off the dribble because you're the kind of player who gets into this space a lot, that's fine. All I'm gonna tell you is make sure that you write it down and you're making these moves at game speed. So the next shot that we have is 100 makes, catch and shoot from three. Now, as simple as this shot is, there's a couple things I want you to focus on. You can be one of two types of shooters off catch and shoot. What I'm doing here is a two foot drop. On the catch, they both hit and I go straight up. The other one is a traditional one, two step. So Brandon looks at my feet again and you're gonna notice my power foot is back. I step in on the catch. I would recommend that you can do both. Personally, I find more balance in the two foot hop. One thing you have to be able to do at any position in basketball is catch and shoot from three. All right, so now you've just hit 100 catch and shoots. I want you to lateral slide into that shot. Not putting it on the deck just yet, no dribbles. Just working on setting our feet on the move. You are gonna have to decide how many of each type of catch and shoot off the move shot you wanna do. These would be inside turns into your catch and shoot. Set the gun up to a slower pass. That way you can get your feet and go game speed into all these shots. You can back pedal in, might even go sideways, get out, set my feet and pull. Steph Curry, sideways, still on balance, catch and shoot. It's gotta be quick and it's gotta be game speed. So these next 100 makes are gonna be your game shots. Pick 10 different moves. They can be off the dribble, they can be off a catch and shoot, and make 10 shots for each of those moves. For example, my first move is gonna be a jab shot. I like to get into a jab and see if I can get my defender to get on their heels or even back up. Once I've created that space, boom, I'm straight into my shot and I'm gonna make 10 of those before I move on to my next shot. After that series, you're at 400 makes, and your last 100 makes should always be 100 free throws. Customize this workout that we just went through and get after it. Don't miss a day, this is an everyday thing. That includes Sundays, that includes Christmas, uh, your girlfriend's cat's birthday, it includes everything. Just find a way to make 500 shots a day, and then make sure you go out and play like you make 500 shots a day. Best quote I ever heard in life and in basketball is usually the aggressive person wins. See you next week.